Okay, it's a 2007 Tundra, and what happened was uh, a mouse got in through the ventilation, and he got into the uh, cabin air filter. He chewed all that up, and all the everything went fell into the fan, seized up the fan, blew out the fuse block, which is this thing. Now, no, there's no videos out there that shows how to do this, and I figured I'd, I'd show you guys because it's really not that hard. The dealer says it'll take about th two or three hours. I, you could probably do it in, in an hour after I show you what's got to be done. It's pretty simple, but it is time-consuming, and there's a lot uh, of wires and everything. But uh, So anyways, this case right here splits right at the bottom here. There's all these little clips here that you have to tri uh, trip with a uh, screwdriver. And they're all around the outside edge and actually in the back there's two screws back here that, that are bolted to the fender well I'll show you that a little later But uh, the most important thing to remember is right on top here Where your your gray uh, box goes Comes up from underneath it, it before uh, it attaches to the black fuse holder right there so it's important to know so in, in other words to drop everything out you have to make a note of these white uh, areas where the clips get snapped out by a screwdriver right there so the whole assembly drops out through the bottom but you have to split the case to, to pull it out and that's the hardest part I didn't make a video in the beginning um, I didn't think it would be this uh, complicated but uh, I wanted to at least show you how I put it back together so hang on I get him out the camera okay here we go now this is the uh, the new fuse block and uh, before I took it out or before I disconnected the wires I made a couple of cell phone shots uh, so I know where everything goes so what we have is an H for the heavy cable and then we have a lighter cable that goes here, and X, nothing goes there. Um, on the front side, we've got a blue and a black. And then this uh, battery cable goes right here. And then on the, on the bottom side, we have just this uh, plug-in harness here. Now, I use like to use a little dielectric grease. Some people may not agree with that, but it just keeps the moisture away. So what we're going to do is plug that in first, click it in. And then we're going to go to the heavy and the, the lighter cable, and then flip over and do the other ones. These are 8 millimeter on this side. The other side is 10 millimeter. I don't know why they're different, but that's just the way they did it. and tight okay that's that side plugs in it's gonna be a little tricky here because there's not a lot of room but uh, I'm gonna work through it here start with the blue Obviously the battery is disconnected way in the start. Actually the battery's out.
nice and tight. And now we got uh, we got a battery cable. Before I put that battery cable on, what I'm going to do is the tricky part is, is to attach the main fuse block to this uh, smaller fuse block by sliding it from the top down. Kind of hard. Okay, it's clicked in, and now you got a screw here to attach to make sure it doesn't come apart. So now that is all one piece all the way across and it's going to slide in from the bottom and click up to these fasteners here, these clips. Okay, I got a screw for this. Again, that's just a tab to connect the two. Transfer the power over to the smaller fuse box. Okay, and now we've got the main battery cable. And uh, while we're here, there was a wire tie right here that had to come out. Just snip it, little wire tie, you can replace it when you're done. And it sits right in this little groove here. But for right now, let's put this in. Okay, All right, that's tight. Now, for the grand finale, this has to slide in from the bottom. And then you can hear a bunch of clicks. Let me take this down. Get a screwdriver holding this thing up. Just get a better look. click click so there you have it there's your replacement fuse block the uh, connected fuse block and clips that had to be disengaged to pull that whole damn thing out so now to put it all back you just need to uh, actually uh, just have to put this shell back together click it all in attach your main power cable to here and uh, install the battery. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We got this case that we have to push down. There we go. You gotta watch for this main battery cable right here. And line it up with all these clips. Make sure you're not pinching any wires. And you'll hear a bunch of clicks as it seats itself. Click, click, click. There it goes. Okay, that's going to get connected here. And to do that, you have to slide it in the track, set right down, you hear another click, and that's in. Um, so we're almost there. I'm going to put a nut on here. I 
that's nice and tight. Don't forget you got to put a wire tie here. That's for the battery. And okay. I don't know if you can see that. I might have to move the camera to show you. There's two screws that go in the back through the uh, through the fender well. And before I took them out, I had to spray underneath with uh, WD-40 because they were a little bit rusted. So there's a little tip for you. Go underneath and spray those bolts before you try and take them out. You might save yourself some trouble. And um, let me see if I can move the camera. I can show you uh, where those two screws are and the rest of the, uh, the clamps. See them right there, there's one down here, and one over here. And there's all clips along the sides that you have to use a screwdriver. And one one last tip. There's two clips on the side right next to the fence. Assembly out by uh, releasing these clips right here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we got two wire ties to put back. Here's one and a battery cable, main battery cable. Pretty simple. Remember, these have to come off to split that case open, otherwise it's just not going not gonna to split. There's one. The second one is over here. Go it this way. really heavy uh, goes all the headlights in front and everything so oops high quality tie wrap again okay we got the headlight harness that comes out the front of this fuse box and we got to put the wire tie back on Okay, trim that off. We're good to go. Everything's set. Okay, all I'm going to do is put the battery in and uh, well, I'm going to give you one more pointer to keep the mice out of your fan. Hang on. Okay, so what happened is some mice got in. This this truck was parked near the woods for about two or three months during the summer. I really didn't have a use for it, so it just sat there. And when it sits there, the mice have no problem taking up residence. So what they had done is um, there's an access. They can get right through to the cabin filter area. And I, it doesn't show it here. This is a new one that I put in, but the old one had a big hole right in the center of it and everything acorns leaves everything you could think of ended up inside the blower housing which seized up the blower motor and in turn blew out this main fuse block which i'm going to show you how to replace and um, so all that happened just from a mouse taking up residence and so what i had done in, 
after I uh, fixed the fuse block and I got another um, cabin air filter, I had taken in a piece of stainless steel mesh and I cut it out with a tin snip, the same exact size as this filter. And I place it right over the top. And it slides right into place, no problem. So you can see the stainless steel mesh I have there. Now they can't get through. Because um, once they get through there, they basically have access to your whole cabin. They walk right through. And uh, we don't want that. And it was very expensive too to, uh, to go ahead and do all that work. So my cabin filter's in, my screen is in, stainless steel, no rust. I'll give you a part number for uh, industrial supply that carries that material. And uh, you can make your own and save yourself a lot of problems.